Okay. So I genuinely fucked up this eye look, but that's because I don't care. And I don't like cut creases because I haven't mastered them yet. What's good? It's your girl D back with another video. So I kind of talked a whole bunch of shit on Juvia's place last year because of how it is that they treated me with my masquerade palette. And the fact that they chipped it, but it was damaged, and they never responded to me because of the fact that it was damaged. And there was the wonderful video right there indicating how it is to fix your shadows, considering that their customer service just was shitty. And I am still hearing that their customer service is um, a little touch and go. But I said to myself, self, you know what? We're going to order this time. We're going to order with a grain of salt, a prayer, and PayPal. Because if they want to fuck with us, we can go on ahead and initiate a PayPal dispute. Because you don't want PayPal dispute problems. As a merchant, you never, never want PayPal dispute problems. Because then that prevents you from actually accepting that as a payment method. And then you're going to lose a ton of business. So, <laughs> you're welcome. Anyway, so, I got the Saharan palette. And I incorporated a few shadows here on this. Um, so far, they swatch well. I'm not going to swatch all of them because I know there's a ton of swatch videos out there for this. And I'm not here for that. Really, what I came to show you guys was some unrelated items. I came to show you the new, or at least new to me. I don't know if it's new to you or not. But I came to show the new Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Concealer. As well as the new Tarte Double Duty Beauty Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. And just because the shit finally showed up from Molly Cosmetics, the goddamn Scylla Sponge. Not to mention, not to mention, we also threw in the Double Duty Beauty creamy powder foundation and I wanted to highlight how it is that the eyeliner performs because you had the option of getting the palette by itself or getting the eyeliner in a little bundle now per Juvia's usual because I like I said I ordered this with a hope and a prayer a grain of salt and PayPal um, it was sandwiched in a box literally with the styrofoam peanuts on top and bottom everything was wrapped up in bubble wrap initially and then inside of the box the palette itself was wrapped in bubble wrap and this let's go ahead and just talk about the size comparison like you you know i'm a creep so we're gonna go ahead and go there we were opening it up and everyone's like oh my god this is so small that's what she said first second Juvia, really? So now you got some, you know, you got some beauty blogger attention and everything, you know, Nikki tutorials and all that, you know, got a couple big names gone ahead and pushing y'all stuff and whatnot, affiliate codes and everything. So now y'all hype, now your head is full and everything, you know, your head is bigger and whatnot, you know, you think that your shit don't stink. So now you're going to go on ahead, mass produce a palette, which I'm not going to lie, at least this launch went well. But give us something that's literally a fraction of the size of what it is that you've been pushing out. Like you started off small, then went medium, then went like extra large. And now we're back off to teeny tiny. Like, you know, we had a mediocre dick, then we had average dick, then we had spectacular dick. And now we're back down to Vienna sausage. But of course, whenever you're dealing with stuff that's actually in smaller size, it's easier to do more in quantity. And the good thing is because these pan, this palette is so little, the pans are smaller, less likely for damage. Now, it's not to say that there aren't damaged palettes out there. I know there are some people that have damaged palettes out there. And I hope to God that they are handling this in an effective manner for you guys. I thankfully, like I said, with the hope and a prayer, smug and bribed and zacked. Another pet peeve of mine, which is still a pet peeve from the first time I reviewed a Juvia's product, Give me a goddamn mirror. Do you know Do you know how difficult it is to be able to go ahead and swatch and then look in the mirror or look in the camera while still trying to hold this shit or trying to hold a mirror when you're trying to do some detail work? Man, y'all big enough now. You can put a little fake plastic ass sheet of reflective material on this bitch to serve as a mirror. Come on now. Little girl compacts with fake makeup come with mirrors. But again, that's just my pet peeve. Now, even though Juvia is on a extreme love hate hit or miss relationship with me, I still cannot deny the quality of their product, the shadows being exceedingly, 
pigmented like we're up in here i just realized as i'm filming this that i look like goddamn mimi from the drew carey show because i was trying to go for a cut crease but i didn't cut hard enough on my crease and then when i did finally cut this gold is just getting lost and but we're too late you know we're already in the video so fuck it cool if you can got an easy cut crease tutorial point me in that direction okay okay anyways <clears throat> And you know what? I'm, I actually dropped the damn Scylla sponge on me while blending. So that's what this is here. Literally, this is that's where that landed. Let's just let's just let's just let that stay there so it distracts you. Anyways, now one thing I was exceedingly impressed by is the damn eyeliner. I normally don't fuck with gel eyeliner. I really don't. I'm lazy as shit. I've been using my Kat Von D tattoo liner for every goddamn thing. But something told me, you know what? If I'm gonna focus on anything with this video, let me focus on the eyeliner. And that eyeliner is creamy as god, creamy as shit. That eyeliner is amazing. You literally just need not even a pinch, not even a half of a smidgen of a fraction of a dab. Like, you don't even need any. You can literally float your brush over it and pick up product, and it's just right. The brush also, and I have to give it to Juvia as, as well, too, because I know that they have their own brush line, too, being a black-owned business. The brush is immaculate as well, too. Like, if you want a wing... That shit right there will give you your wing. And then to connect everything, oh yeah, yeah. You barely need any product. The eyeliner comes with a brown pot and a black pot. Um, I don't know where the brown would actually show up on my ass. But hey, you know, I mean, it's worth a shot. But I was very impressed. It dried down to a perfect matte. And also, it's visible on top of this shadow, which is something that's really hard to do when you've got a really strong, a really pigmented, or a really shimmery shadow to actually have your eyeliner show up and be visible enough on top of it to where it's not, to where you can actually see that shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Juvia, you get all of the praise, honor, and a smidgen of glory for the eyeliner. So, anyways, um, the Scylla Sponge. Now, I know I'm late on the Scylla Sponge train. I ordered this shit literally New Year's Day. It just now got here. Whatever. Anyways, you only need a, you, you, the key to this motherfucker. Because it actually blended all the product well. But I still had just a little bit too much foundation on. Because I just kind of dipped into the Double Duty foundation. Because the way that this Double Duty is set up... It's a little honey pot. Honey pot full of product. Every fucking wear. So I literally just like dabbed a smidgen off of that lid. Like, hey, there's some excess. Let's go with that. Mm -mm. No. Still too much. Still too much. Like I should have just gone in with a fingertip and then applied and then blended. I shouldn't have used this to dip. Like you know how you take a nacho chip and you dip it into your rotel and then you get all of the rotel on that chip and then the chip gets to be so heavy it might break before you can take your bite. That's what this happened. That that's what happened with this. Okay. Shape tape, great. Um, the powder, nothing fancy or anything like that, but I still wanted to show what the Double Duty Beauty line looked like working cohesively together because apparently, according to the reps that were at Ulta the other day, this shit's totally temporary and it's exclusive to Ulta as it is. If you can at least get you the shape tape, snatch that shit up, like smack it, flip it, rub it down. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So, if you want to see how all of this shit works, stay tuned. And if not, okay. I got nothing for you. I hate cut creases because I'm not a master at them yet. And one of my eyebrows is thicker than the other, but that's fine. We're here to review the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I just whipped this up real quick. This is in the shade Rich. I'm rich, bitch. I'm a real big time. Oh lord. Applicator's thick as shit. Damn. You get quite a bit of product on there. Lord. That is tons heavier 
ounce wise then it looks about the same in regards to the width of my Born This Way concealer. Um, well actually it's a little bit wider and there's a lot more room inside. My Born This Way concealer is 0.23 ounces. The Shape Tape is uh, 0.3381 so you get like a tenth of an ounce more. <coughs> okay, here for it. All right, okay, not bad. That brow's still super fucking thick, but that's okay. So far for concealer, good blend of cleanup, yay. Okay, so good job, Shape Tape. Now we're gonna go in with the Double Duty Beauty Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. But just for kicks and giggles, because the shit finally got here today, we're gonna blend it with the Molly Cosmetics Scylla Sponge. It looks like a teardrop. She's thick too. Okay. We don't even need all that product. There's so much. Oh my gosh. lathering across my face. was probably too much foundation but that's all right seeing it just gliding all the way on and whoa yeah face face I mean I would get this on my actual shirt that I'm trying to keep clean damn it damn it and on camera this is why you need shout in your life 
because shout takes care of everything. We look like we have been in the sun quite a bit. That's fine. Oh, this is it, it's more, or is this on my fingers? You know, if I could just stay there, dirty shirt. Okay. Oh, so sponge ain't bad. I got some dishes soaking. What about dishes washed? Dishes washed are, are drying off. You did wash dishes. I did wash dishes. Some dishes that I couldn't scrub and let soak. Night, Good night, little kid. Night, YouTube. Close my door. Oh, wow. You know what? The concept of this is good, actually. You just have to watch how much fucking product you put on here. Because even, and it start off with a little. Because a little will go a long fucking way. Oh, snap. So this is a Juvia's Place Saharan Eyeliner. Yeah, who's not here for gel eyeliner is me. So we've got two little pods of eyeliner and an eyeliner brush. We have brown and we have black. The description states, sophistication at its peak. Creating a perfect wing liner never felt so good. The Saharan Gel Liner Kit comes with two gel liners and a perfectly chiseled and handcrafted double eyeliner brush. Creamy and highly pigmented to make any look refined. <sighs> so. I normally don't fuck with gel eyeliner, so this may be a disaster on camera. So here's a brush, and Juvia's does have brushes. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. It's got a foil sticker on top of the gel. And I'm going to leave mine kind of on so that way when I close it up, <clears throat> it won't be that difficult. Oh, it is creamy. Okay. Okay. Okay, I can live with this because I can do I can do something with this. Okay. Okay. All right. Wow. This is one of the best gel liners I've ever dealt with. This is insanely buttery. 
like normally when I'm working with a gel liner, it's ridiculously difficult to manipulate. You've got to scrape off a ton of excess. I have barely, barely scraped the surface of this product. Barely. Wow. 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 I'm genuinely pleased with this. I know there are a ton, there are a ton of swatch videos out there, but I doubt that there's any videos, if so, not many. I doubt that there are many videos touching on the eyeliner if, if you actually got the eyeliner to go, uh, with your Saharan palette. Wow. Mostly I'm just that glad I didn't fuck this up on camera, but I am genuinely pleased with how pigmented this eyeliner is, with how easy it is to move around, that you do not need a whole lot on your brush in order to make it work. Like you could not tell I didn't have my damn liner designer. Okay. All right, I'm here for it, I'm here for it. Wow, that is awesome. This little brush is very nice too. That sharp ass angle, oh, that was, that, that was lovely. But this here, this is a worthwhile investment. And I gave Juvia's Place a whole bunch of shit back in 2016 because of how they did my damn masquerade palette. But, um, yeah yeah here for this okay and last but not least in our double duty beauty an oldie but goody since i've already had this this is um the creamy powder foundation in deep honey and so just dusting off the bake with something that's flesh toned As always, thank you ever so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you have any questions or suggestions, hit your girl up in the comment section. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back on my channel. But if you are not here for me, my shenanigans, my opinion, or flagrant use of the word motherfucker, that's fine. There's an X in that corner. It is just for you to click and get your life and get the fuck up off my channel. Other than that, for those who are here for my shenanigans, you are beautiful, amazing, wonderful, spectacular. And if no one else has told you, I appreciate you. Take care.